Syria's military is preparing to use chemical weapons against rebels and is awaiting final orders from President Assad, according to unnamed U.S. officials quoted in the American media. Washington says that would be all the reason it needs to intervene in the conflict. And as RT's Middle East correspondent Paula Sleer reports, the timing of these unsubstantiated weapons of mass destruction revelations may not be a coincidence. These rumors are unverified. As of yet, they are just allegations. What they do suggest is that Syria's military has been mixing chemical weapons and loading them into bombs. The allegations suggest that the Syrian president Bashar Assad is reportedly planning to use these on his own people. This comes as the U.S. military is making contingency plans should the Syrian president Bashar Assad suddenly leave with the U.S. sources saying that they are aware that Assad has received numerous asylum offers. At the same time, the United States has reportedly deployed the U.S. Eisenhower Strike Group, which went through the Suez Canal from the Persian Gulf over the weekend. And we understand, according to reports, that it is making its way to the Syrian coast, and it has been throughout this week. Now, what this it does indicate, this latest development, is that the United States now stands ready for direct military intervention in the Syrian conflict. Certainly that is what we're hearing from various sources and various commentators who have been following the story closely. There is at the same time some evidence emerging that rebel fighters might be allegedly planning some kind of chemical attack on Syrian President Bashar Assad's supporters. There is a video that has been posted online on Thursday. Now it does show what is thought to be a rebel fighter feeding chemical weaponry to rabbits and within a minute those rabbits die. We will not show you how they die because the video is disturbing. This is in fact what the video has to say. You will die like these two rabbits, you enemies of Allah. Do you believe it now? We will kill you all with our chemical and biological weapons. Look for yourselves. Do you see these rabbits? They inhaled chemical weapons for one minute only and they're dead. Your destiny will be like them because you are supporters of Bashar al-Assad. God is great. God is great. Wait and see. We are from the Ari Asasa chemical battalion. We will kill you with our chemical weapons. The video has not been verified. This is an important point to make, but certainly the message it sends out is ominous. Let's now talk to Dr. Ali Mohammed. He's the editor-in-chief of the Syria Tribune online magazine. So concerned that President Assad could use chemical weapons. Is that likely? Uh, the question is why would President Assad or the Syrian army use chemical weapons? It's winning the ground and uh, the Damascus airport battle not a week ago uh, proved that again and again. Why would uh, Syria give a pretext to the U.S. to intervene while it doesn't even need to? Uh, I think... Is there any doubt though that Syria does have chemical weapons? Uh, but I'm, I'm not in a position to comment on whether or not Syria has uh, chemical weapons, but it's obvious that Syria has something that is uh, scary to, to its uh, uh, opponents. But the idea is this thing was built and uh, uh, developed to, to face uh, the, the, the massive nuclear power, uh, nuclear bomb power that Israel had, and it was not designated for anything else, obviously. Well, Clinton says, Hillary Clinton says that Syrian government is on the brink of collapse. If it is in a desperate position, could it not resort to chemical weapons to save itself? Well, this is a hypothesis that is not uh, true. Uh, it's not on the verge of collapse. They have been saying this for the past, like, 18 months. And uh, so far, the, the Syrian government is still there, and the rebels are on the verge of collapse. So, uh, no, it's not desperate. And even if... It, it goes desperate. The chemical weapons will not solve anything. It's not the, the answer to, it, to, to anything within the Syrian land. And I don't believe that the Syrian army would use it within the Syrian land at all. If there is any hint of chemical weapons being used, is that the excuse that the US and its allies are looking for to officially intervene in Syria? Exactly. Now, we have seen this video that your reporter talked about, and there, are, there has been other, other evidence that we've been collecting for the past three months that it's possible, uh, it's actually even more possible for the rebels to use chemical weapons than, than the Syrian government. And uh, this would be used as a false flag like what happened before. We all remember the night before the last uh, UN Security Council meeting when, they, when, when uh, Russia and China vote, uh, vetoed the resolution. The night before, there was a false flag that was 
very soon proved to be wrong, and this could be used again in the in the form of chemical weapons this time. Threat of chemical weapons is uh, one excuse cited uh, for the reason of uh, in deploying those Patriot missiles by NATO at the Syrian border. Now the alliance says it's just to protect Turkey from a potential attack also by Damascus. Why would Syria, what would it be uh, in Syria's benefit to attack a NATO member, a neighbor like that? Exactly nothing. Uh, Syria now is having enough trouble without attacking a NATO member and uh, the idea is Turkey is the one attacking Syria and Syria is the country that needs protection from Turkey because we all know now as uh, it's uh, a lot of evidence uh, leaked uh, Turkey is uh, hosting rebels, arming them, training them, supporting them and sending them to fight in Syria. So Syria is the one that needs protection, not Turkey. Is all this the talk from the U.S. at the moment, also the deployment of these Patriot missiles, is it perhaps a signal that a no-fly zone over Syria could be established, although it's being denied by NATO? Do you think the alliance is actually being honest about that? Is this the main intention behind all of this? It could be. It could easily be. Uh, I don't think the alliance is uh, being honest because uh, the past two years have proven them to, to, to be lying to the public repeatedly, uh, including just lately because the U.S. has just listed uh, the Al-Nusra facet as a terrorist organization while it's still supporting it to topple the regime. Uh, they have been lying to the public and they are likely to lie to the public again. Uh, but, but so, look, look, so many civilians are dying now. This has got to end somehow, hasn't it? Isn't it right now that there should be official intervention? After all, many would argue the intervention in Libya did end the conflict there. Uh, the, the intervention in Libya did end al Gaddafi uh, regime, but it did not end the conflict or the suffering of the civilians. Civilians are still suffering until now. And it's very clear that if, if the Syrian government and the Syrian army uh, should disappear for some reason, the result will be a prolonged and terrible civil war, if not a, a whole region war, regional war, not only civil. Dr. Ali Mohammed, the editor-in-chief of the Syria Tribune online magazine, great to hear your thoughts. Thank you for joining us live there from Dubai.